So let's do an example of variation parameters for a system. So here's the system that we're going to solve. Uh, so we begin by finding the complementary solutions. So that involves going after the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So determinant a minus lambda i is, uh, let's see, so we've got negative 1 minus lambda, 1, 3, 1 minus lambda, and this boils down to lambda squared minus 4, so we end up with uh, lambda equal plus or minus 2. And so going for the eigenvectors, let's take lambda 1 to be equal to 2. Uh, then we'll have a minus 2i gives us minus 3, 1, 3 minus 1, which immediately row reduces to 3 minus 1, 0, 0. And we have uh, an eigenvector of 1, 3. And so we get part of our solution as e to the 2t, 1, 3. All right. Uh, for our other eigenvector, uh, we've got minus 2 as our eigenvalue this time. And so a plus 2i is going to look like uh, 1, 1, 3, 3. And so this row reduces in a heartbeat. And we find a corresponding eigenvector of 1 minus 1. And so the other part of our solution to the system is going to be e to the minus 2t, 1 minus 1. OK. So now let's see what we've got. So now our fundamental uh, matrix is e to the 2t, 3e to the 2t, e to the minus 2t minus e to the minus 2t. And so what we're going for now is, um, uh, let's see, we're going to need the inverse of x to multiply against our uh, forcing function. So the inverse of x is, <coughs> uh, let's see, so we're going to need to divide by the Ronskian. And so uh, the product down this way is going to be uh, minus 1. And the product going this way is going to be uh, subtracting positive 3. So we have minus 4 as the Ronskian. So we've got 1 over minus 4. Uh, and then let's see what we do. We uh, switch the places. So negative e to the minus 2t and e to the 2t get swapped. And then on the off diagonals, they get negated. So this becomes minus e to the negative 2t. And this becomes minus 3e to the 2t. OK. And so then the variation of parameters uh, setup says that we're going to be looking for x times u, where u prime uh, satisfies x u prime equals our forcing function. Or in other words, uh, u prime is equal to x inverse times our forcing function, which we just figured out is, uh, here, let me distribute some of those negatives. So we've got 1 fourth uh, e to the 2t, e to the 2t, 3e to the 2t minus e to the 2t. So I, I just uh, dealt with this minus here and used it to cancel these guys. Um, and then our forcing function is uh, 20e to the 3t, 12e to the t. Uh, so now I just need to carry out this matrix product. And let's see, I can cancel the uh, 1 fourth and make this into a 5 and a 3. And then our numbers will be uh, a little simpler. Um, so then multiplying this out, I get 5e to the t uh, plus 3e to the negative t. And I get 15e um, to the uh, 5t minus 3e to the 3t. OK, so there's my uh, u. And so then u is going to be the integral x inverse times the forcing function. Um, I'm not sure why I'm using f instead of b. I guess it doesn't matter. 
Um, so let's see. So then I integrate those coordinates and I get 5e to the t minus 3e to the negative t and 3e to the 5t minus e to the 3t. So then the last step is that our uh, particular solution is x times u. So that's x integral x inverse forcing function. Uh, so I multiply by good old x, which was, uh, what was there was, um, e to the 2t, e to the minus 2t, 3e to the 2t, minus e to the negative 2t. And then I uh, multiply that by this one that we just found on the previous step. Let me grab a copy of that right there. Um, and then, so multiplying this all out, I get, oh goodness, 5e to the 3t minus 3e to the t plus 3e to the 3t minus e to the t. Wow. Um, and 15e to the 3t minus 9e to the t minus 3e to the 3t plus another e to the t, which should simplify somewhat. So we have, um, see, I guess we get 8e to the 3t's in total and minus 4e to the t's. And then we have 12e uh, to the 3t's minus 8e to the t's. Okay. All right, so there's our particular solution. So now the uh, general solution looks like um, c1 e to the 2t 1 3 plus c2 e to the minus 2t 1 minus 1 plus um, <coughs> e to the 3t uh, 8 12 and e to the t, uh, 4, 8. Oh, what? those are negative. Let me, there we go. And so that is our general solution for this non-homogeneous system.